Ladies and gentlemen, my friends, welcome back to Porn Whiskey. It is Friday. Hope y'all enjoyed your week. Ah, buzzards roost. So, a little backstory, I guess I can tell you here. A few weeks ago, I was going to go to a buzzards roost tasting way down in Maryland. I've never had a buzzards roost before. I thought, man, I should make the trip, you know. Instead, I thought I didn't want to drive that far. So I did a little hunting and found one store in my area that actually had it. I had two bottles, so of course I went for the barrel strength, my friends. You always have to get yourself a little bit higher proof. So this is their Buzzard Roost Barrel Strength Straight Bourbon Whiskey. We are coming in at a beautiful 116.1 proof. And this is bottle number 1512. Don't have a batch number. So, I don't believe this would be like batch number one. But I can't tell you if it's not. So, <clears throat> we're going with that bottle 1512. <laughs> so, I have enjoyed a little bit of this. And I'm going to tell you one thing, my friends. This is wonderful. Freaking wonderful. We'll actually say that. The coloration on this is it's not as dark as you would think that it would be um it is an mgp <clears throat> but it is bottled in bardstown kentucky so that's you know bourbon land where everything started so but yeah this the bottle number did intrigue me because i'd like to know what batch if they give us a bottle number but hey that's all we get today. So, <clears throat> yeah. We don't get an age statement, but them flavor lines are running down that glass, my friends. Mm-hmm. Mm. On the nose, it's very sweet. Mm-hmm. I'll get to the tongue, but I'm just because I've had it. So it's not a fresh crack opening like we normally do here on pouring whiskey. But this is like a dark chalk colored, dark cherry chocolate coated. That's what, yeah, it is wonderful. Mm. That first sip, it's like you open up, you take that wrapper off the candy, your chocolate covered cherry. But it's not like a normal red cherry, it's that dark, dark red cherry. Take the wrapper off, and you bite that thing in half. That first initial little sweetness of the cherry with that little bit of chocolate, bow! It's all flavor, my friends. All flavor. So I thought, with the nose and the foot and, and the tongue of this, it should be darker. But, mm. Mm hmm, mm hmm, and really the nose has there's a little orange to it. It's not a citrus, you know, a little squirt squirt of juice coming out, but it has an orange nose, which is weird because it's cherry on the tongue. Mm. Yeah. They're doing some good stuff over here. So, one thing I can say is that I was a little irritated that I didn't go to the tasting and try to full line of what they were offering that day. But it's a long drive. Sometimes I kick myself. Kick myself right in the ass, my friends. Because... <clears throat> I went out and found one bottle. Very glad I did. 
Should I went to the tasting? Let me know. Let me know down in the comments. To a two and a half hour drive. So would have tasted, let's say, six to eight bottles, I believe, that they had there that day. And then I would have chose one and picked it up. Would I have picked this one up? I have no idea. But <clears throat> just off the name and the proof, I, you know, I love them proofies. Mm, that is good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, man. Mm hmm. Oh. You know what time it is? Infinity time, my friends. A good time when we get extra cork pops. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. And I can tell you, nice little real cork. Do enjoy that. Synthetics are always good, but you like to feel it, you know. So, going into the infinity, my friends. <clears throat> I have been smart about this. I have been keeping a list because I don't want to. Obviously, I could go back and look at videos and say, "Oh, yeah, that was in, that's in the bottle. This is in the infinity bottle." <clears throat> but I'm pretty smart about this. At least I think I am. <clears throat> so this year's Buzzer Roost, the 16th edition of bourbon whiskey or rye into the infinity bottle. For this year, 750 milliliter decanter. If any of y'all know, 750 milliliters, uh, 26, 27 ounces. So, what I say, this is 16, so it might be maybe 10 more openings after this, and then we're gonna have a full infinity barrel bottle. Bottle, I've been saying infinity bottle. But after that, hey, we have more decanters. But then we're going to see what this puppy's really like. Mm. But hey, <clears throat> till next weekend, next Friday, I'll see you all on Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Try to enjoy your week. Pick yourself up some Buzzer's Roost if you can. Damn good juice, my friends. See y'all Friday.